So in this video, I will show how to bake any smart material using Smartify. As long as you use the smart shader, it's uh, super simple. You can basically just enter any of the smart shader on any of your materials. And if you go to the right of the shader, you get this section. So you simply have to connect this dot to the shader output and you will see your texture appearing. So this is the color, the roughness, the metal, specular. And you also have in the next version, some presets. So here we have for Unreal, the MU occlusion in the red channel, etc. And then below you have the normal and the height for the displacement. And if you want to see again your smart materials, you can connect again the shader. And that works even if you have many different materials. So here I've set up a quick smart material with the, the marble and gold uh, preset. So I'm using two color attributes or vertex colors. You can create more here in the color attributes plus sign. You can rename them and you can pick which one will be displayed by clicking on it. So here I painted one for the gold that I can select here. And if I press M, I deactivate the paint effect so I can see the base material that mixes marble and gold. Pressing control with the vertex paint mode, I can erase or basically use the second color. And so I added this paint smart effect that's here. Initially I added the snow, so I'll rename this vertex color to paint. And I can pick it here. So by default I can paint everything in black. It will leave the smart effect happen as it should. It uses the facing and the altitude. So it can happen more or less where you want. You can always enter inside a, a smart effect to check anything. Sometimes there is other parameters that you might want to tweak. For example, here there is ambient occlusion that erase the paint in the occluded area. So if I want, I could calm this down to get more paint in the occluded zones. So now let's say I want to bake this. I will enter any smart shader and I can start by creating the image file I want. So the color, the mask, the normal and the height. So starting with the color, I just connect it and then I see it appear in the viewport. So I can check, that's my diffuse. I can see the paint, the, the dust and the gold. So in cycle, you can open or close everything, clicking on the arrow and sliding like this. So it's a bit cleaner and open the bake. The bake type is emit, it's emissive. You can deselect, select it to active. If you have only one mesh, if you have several mesh, you just select them. And if you want to bake from a high poly or even several high poly meshes, you can select them and then select your low poly as the active mesh. And then just be careful to have a little bit of uh, extrusion so the, the bake has some uh, some space to find the high poly from the low poly. But here I'm baking the mesh on itself so I'm just making sure I have some UVs. So going in edit mode I've just done a smart UV project and a UV pack. So yeah one UV set will be baked at a time but it's possible to bake to bake different objects, different UV sets quite fast. So the sanity check is mesh selection, the UVs, then the images to just have them lay around, be empty, and then the bake settings. So emissive and not selected to active. So you can just click bake. So first make sure you're, you select your image, uh, the color. I want to bake the color, so I select the color, click bake. You can see it here. Then plug your mask, select your mask, click bake. The normal, the height, so now I can reconnect the shader. Each of these images I can pack in the blend file, so I'm sure they are saved when I save the file. I could also already save them as to have them on the disk. Now to test them, simply copy. I'll create a duplicate of the statue. Create a new material. I'm gonna paste them. Add a smart shader, then I can connect them. To connect the mask, I can enter any smart shader and grab this node. I can set them to non-color, 
and here on the left I will look at the procedural one and here on the right I'm gonna look at the texture baked one so this new material is in bump only I'll put it in displacement only then I can just set the displacement value I want and yeah I can see that it's pretty close so the procedural one still has a lot of details from the tiling textures but the baked one I can start to see the pixels as I baked in 2k we can see it's all uh, textured well this one is still procedural so yeah that was a, an overview of how to create a smart material and bake it to textures for export thanks